I cannot function with this hair today. I'm putting it up. Oh. Hey guys, Kelly Fab here, and today I'm just going to do a quick chatty get ready with me. I wanted to go over a few things with you guys, and I figured today would be a good day because I have three videos going up this week, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, and I try to add in like a bonus video every once in a while, but yeah, I'm just going to do this video and put it up for Sundays when you guys are going to be seeing it. Sorry, I'm totally adjusting because I have to sit Indian style on my chair, otherwise it drives me crazy. So I was just gonna kinda chat with you guys and do my thing today, so yeah. So I'm starting with a product from my Project Pan and it is the Becca First Light Priming Filter. I've been using this quite a bit lately and I love it. Like, it's literally one of my favorite primers now. It's so moisturizing and hydrating and glowy on my skin. It feels so gentle, it doesn't sink into my pores, it just, it doesn't break me out either, which is amazing, but I don't know, I just, I love it. So I wanted to let you guys know, first and foremost, how thankful I am for all of my subscribers that have been here for a long time and also all of my new subscribers that are just coming in. I appreciate you guys a lot and we made it to 500 subscribers. So I'm giving you guys like a quick sneak peek into tomorrow's video. So tomorrow's video is going to be a giveaway video since we reached 500 subscribers. I'm so excited. And you guys know that YouTube is like demonetizing people that have um, less than a thousand subscribers or and or less than 40,000 view times or view minutes or whatever it is. I'm not really sure how the view thing works, but my number says like 41,000, so I think I'm good there. But obviously I don't have over a thousand um, subscribers, so unfortunately they are gonna cut me back. Not like I've made any money anyways, but I don't know, it's just kind of like annoying, especially for like us little channels that are just trying to get started, get going, and get our stuff, you know, in order. And I know I've been on here for almost a year now, god it's been almost a year, but I haven't been consistent and I haven't been too like worried about anything. Honestly, this is just fun for me. So. You guys know part of my goals this year is to be more consistent with all of my uploading and my schedule and stuff like that. So I'm really, I'm really working for it this year. So I'm going to actually go into the Master Palette by Mario today. This is such an amazing palette. And this was actually gifted to me by another YouTuber, and her name is Jackie, and her channel is called Jax Lorraine, and she is just the sweetest thing ever. Like, you guys will love her. If you guys like my kind of stuff, she's very um, informative and very easy to listen to and very, I don't know, I just really enjoy watching her channel, and I always like wait for her new videos to upload because I love her channel. And honestly, she's just the sweetest person ever. And I will link her channel down below if you guys are interested in checking her out. Make sure if you do, let her know that I sent you over there because she does amazing. And she is definitely a cruelty-free YouTuber, which I appreciate because I know that any product she mentions is a cruelty-free product. You guys know I haven't like committed to the cruelty-free like status yet, but... Um, you know, I'm probably am going to be working towards that direction here in the near future just because I feel like that's the right thing to do. As much as I like like my Maybelline mascaras and, you know, some of my drugstore stuff and some like benefit blushes and stuff like that, I just I feel like it's the right thing to do to make these companies move towards a cruelty-free status because I don't know, I would pay more for companies just to be all cruelty free. Like every single company in the entire world, if they were all cruelty free and they were all a dollar more for each item, I would pay it. It's just like that. I just realized I don't really have like a mirror, but I'm just kinda, I don't know what I'm doing yet with my eye look, to be totally honest. I'm just gonna kinda roll with it. So I did the, obviously, the Master Palette by Mario, and I put this shade Hollywood, which is this lightest shade all over my lid everywhere, and I didn't quite bring it up to my brow bone, but I think I'm going to, just because, uh, I don't know, the 
this is looking really pretty. It's like a glowy, like yellow, but not really yellow gold. It's, I don't know, it's like a champagne gold. And I don't know, I'm just liking it. I actually wanted to use it just to set my um, primer down, but I'm liking it right now. So I'm just gonna roll with it because I don't really know what I'm doing today. Going back to my subscriber giveaway. So I'm not gonna tell you guys yet what I'm giving you away, but there's gonna be a lot of good products. Like, I'm really excited. A lot of them are duplicates in my collection, things that I don't want or don't need, and a lot of them are just things that I've gotten, you know, in samples, and I knew I wasn't gonna use the samples, or I got in like a Sephora favorites kit that I knew I wasn't gonna use or like, so. There's a lot of those kind of products in there, but there's also a lot of products where, like I had a Kmart that was going out of business near me and I bought a bunch of products that I love and I wanted to share them with you guys. So there's those as well. I'm gonna put the shade Bronx, which is this green shade here, um, all over my lid, I guess. I don't know. Like I said, I don't really know where, what I'm going with with this eye look, but I'm just kind of rolling with it, I don't know. This is the IBY crease brush and it's like the teeniest, tiniest little like crease brush, but I don't use it as a crease, br crease brush ever. I always use it as a lid brush because that's how it works the best for me. And I've really enjoyed it like that. That giveaway video is going to go up on my channel tomorrow on Monday. So make sure you guys check that out and I will have, um, I'll show you guys all the products that I'm going to be giving away and it's just going to be one giveaway winner and I'm going to also post um, like an Instagram post on my Instagram beauty page of all of the products that I have. And yeah, so that way anybody can win it. It's not, I'm not going to have a winner on my Instagram page though. Oh my god, I just realized there's so much fallout right here. I'm not going to have a winner on my Instagram page just because I, as much as I liked doing that with my ColourPop giveaway, I really just want to have one giveaway winner and I'm going to have another giveaway winner at 1,000 subscribers because I've gotten a lot of good products and I'm super excited to give away this 1,000 subscriber giveaway as well. Like. I've been doing good for you guys, I promise. But I'm really excited and I just wanna do it as a thank you to you guys for being so awesome and loyal and watching my channel and supporting me and all my new supporters and all my supporters that have been around since I only had eight subscribers. I literally remember the day that I had eight subscribers and I was like, I don't think anybody else is ever gonna subscribe. And then I was like, oh, maybe I'll just give up or whatever. And then all of a sudden I got like 15 and I was like, Oh, this is cool. And then I remember one of my girlfriends, she texted me and she's like, oh my God, you have 30 subscribers. And I'm like, I know, it's so exciting. And it's just so funny because every time like I get an influx of subscribers, I always like look and see who they are. Cause some, some subscribers, subscribers are like fake subscribers that are just there for the giveaway videos or whatever. And I always look at who they are and a lot of them are YouTubers themselves so I go and check their channels out and I don't know it's just such a fun way to like find other YouTubers that are fun to watch and I don't know I don't know it's just fun so I don't I don't know where I'm going with this look but I kind of want to use this Isabel color here it's like this orangey shade I kind of want to use that in my crease I'm just gonna go with it we're doing it. I don't, I, like I said, I don't know what I'm doing today. So my next thing, I'm just laying that kind of over top of the top part of that Bronx shade and underneath of the Hollywood shade, kind of like a messy lay down. I'm kind of going for like a grungy, messy eye look today. Just for no particular reason at all, just so you know. Like I have no plans of going anywhere or doing anything. I might take my son to the bowling alley today. I already went grocery shopping with no makeup on, so that happened. But I don't know, I'm just kind of having fun today, to be totally honest. But yeah, so the next thing I want to talk about is, I've talked to you guys previously in a get ready with me about some topics that I'd like to share with you guys, like my weight loss topic, which by the way, I'm like at a ridiculous plateau and I cannot get over right now. It's driving me crazy. 
Anyways, so I wanted to make a video about that and then I have a couple series that I'm thinking of making on my channel and I'd like to get your guys' input on it. So I'm going to leave a poll. What side is it going to be on this side? I'm going to leave a poll right now of a few different series that I'm thinking of doing and let me know. And then I'm also going to leave another poll here, I guess right now again, um, but I'm going to leave another poll of like the next couple videos that you guys would like to see because I have a makeup inventory video that I want to film. I have um, an empties video I want to film. I have um, a couple updates for my project pans that I need to film. I have a couple different things, but I'd like to see what order you guys would like to see them in. So I will leave a list up below or up below. Oh my God. I will leave a list up here on the polls and let me know just by voting for whatever one you'd like to see first as like the first video. What do you guys think? God, I wish you guys could tell me. Like I should do one of these lives sometime and be like, hey, by the way, what do you think of this? What color should I put on top? Whatever. I don't know. I think I'm just going to stop for now with the eyes. <laughs> I think I'm going to go on to my face just because I, I'm undecided. And I cannot figure out what I want to do. So I'm going to go in with the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Hydrating Tint. And this is in the shade Nude 40. This is in one of my project pans as well. I've only used it a couple times. But I'm like, I don't know. I liked it a lot more when I first got it, but I think it's probably like a year and a half old now. So I'm thinking that maybe that's why I'm not liking it as much. Don't know. Let me know if you guys have this Neutrogena Hydro Boost and if, it, if you like it, if you don't like it, what you think about it, because I'd like to know what you guys are feeling about this because I don't, I don't know if my preferences are changing too. That might be it, but like, I feel like this doesn't have enough coverage, but then it has too much coverage in certain spots and then not enough in others. So, I don't know. If you guys have this, let me know what your thoughts about it. And if you feel the same way, or if you feel like maybe it's better during certain months out of the year. Like my skin is super dry right now, but I like crazy moisturized it. And even then it's like, still not my favorite i don't know and maybe it's like the color i don't know the color seems right for me right now but in the summertime there's no way it's going to be good for me i'm going to be way too dark for this color so i don't know let me know what you guys think i'm going to finish my face really quick though Okay, so it's weird because I like it a lot more today than I've liked it <laughs> the last couple times. I don't know. I feel like my preferences are always changing. So I'm going to go in with the Sexy Mama Anti-Shine Translucent Powder. This is definitely not an anti-shine powder for me. I feel like this powder makes me shiny, which I don't mind. Um, but it's not like a bad shiny. It's weird. It's like a good shiny. But you guys know I put this powder in my Shop My Stash this month to try it out because I've had it for forever and I haven't tried it out yet. But I really like it. I don't know. I'm like maybe like today I don't feel as shiny as I did the other day when I wore this. I feel like I'm just floating by the wind today. So I'm going to contour with this Makeup Forever Pro Fusion Bronzer or Pro's Pro Bronze Fusion in the shade 20M. That is my shade. But I like this the most for contouring it's like the perfect tone for me the perfect shade it's not too obvious that i'm like laying down a contour because i don't i just don't like it when your face is like chiseled out like it just doesn't look right on me at least some people it looks great on not me i feel like i mean maybe it does to other people but to me there's no way that looks good just because I don't know I don't have like a chiseled face like I have a very soft face I feel like and if I try to do like a chiseled look on my face it just looks crazy but anyways so have you guys seen the new ColourPop stuff that came out my girlfriends at work have been buying it like crazy and I have not given in to buying any of it because I'm awesome 
but yeah, I haven't really bought anything in a long time to be totally honest just because I don't need anything. I'm enjoying what I have and I've been decluttering so much that I really don't want to buy anymore because I don't want to have to declutter anything else and I don't really need anything else in my space right now because I'm liking my space being like clean and empty. It's really nice for me. So I'm going to use the Tarte Amazonian Clay Bronzer. I actually used this in a first impression last year and I loved it but then I put it away in my collection and I never used it again which is ridiculous because I liked it so much. So I'm using it a lot lately and I'm going to be sad when this thing's gone because I swear to you this is going to be gone soon because I use it so much. I just really like it. I feel like it's the right tone for me, it's the right shade, especially in the winter time when my skin is a bit lighter. I feel like, I don't know, I feel like it's still going to be a good shade in the summertime, but I'm not sure because <laughs> I get really dark in the summer. So we'll see if it's still a good shade for me in the summertime. Lately I've been using this MAC Nutcracker blush a lot. Here it is. I really like it, but I don't know if I'm feeling it today. Kind of, I feel like I should use this one today from my Project Pan, my Infatuation by Makeup Geek, but I don't really feel like using it either. Maybe I'll use this one as my base and then I'll use something else as my top coat. That's what I'm gonna do. Blush brush. I use this one from Real Techniques. I really like it, but it gets dirty so quickly, so I have to wash it all the time, which I mean is okay, but I don't know. So this blush is very pigmented and it goes on super fast but yeah I don't know it's not my favorite blush so I want to get like a pop blush for my cheek I'm not really sure what I want to do I'm actually gonna go in my collection right now I have this new one too from Tarte it's called concept but I feel like that's not going to be enough of a pop that I'm looking for. That's more of a neutral blush. Okay, so I have this one from Pure Cosmetics and it is from my BoxyCharm. I have not used it yet, nor have I filmed my BoxyCharm unboxing. But it's this one here and I feel like it's going to be super pigmented. Oh yeah, I mean like, that's ridiculous. You guys see that? That's crazy. Um... Let's just go with it. <laughs> I don't know. Like I said, I'm just kind of rolling today. So I'm just going to like literally just like tap my brush in there. I know you're not supposed to blow on it. It's a very orangey toned blush, which I don't mind, but it's not my favorite. Like that's not even, I don't know. I guess it's like a coral orange. <sighs> that's enough blush right now because... I've got a lot on. So one product that I've been obsessed with for this whole month was from my Ipsy last month and it is this brush from SL Miss Glam. Love it. I've been using it for highlighter and I've been obsessed and I thought I was going to declutter this. The Dandelion Twinkle Blush or <laughs> the Dandelion Twinkle Highlighter. I love it. It gives me like the most perfect natural highlight. Like I don't know. I just feel like it looks so good on me. Like this tone, the brightness, the subtleness of it. Like I can really build it up and it still looks good when I build it up, which is my favorite part about it. And I feel like a lot of highlighters are just too much lately. And honestly, what I've been doing is just layering it. So if I want a subtle highlighter I'll just wear this like this is what I've been wearing when I teach so it's not like too overwhelming but when I want a little bit more of a highlighter I'll just layer it with something so I'll layer it with this ColourPop one that I've used it's from it's here kitty kitty I've used it quite a few times and I really like it or I'll layer it with sin by urban decay I really like this one as well and yeah I mean I don't know, I just really like it. It has definitely been one of my favorites. So now getting back to the eyes. I feel like I kind of just like like this, like a little bit. I want to do something underneath, maybe like a super black eyeliner underneath. Yeah, maybe I'll do that. 
Okay guys, so I'm gonna take you off camera for a minute. I'm gonna do an eyeliner and do my mascara and yeah, I'm probably gonna be done because I'm just doing a light look, just having fun today. So, and I just wanted to really announce that you got, to you guys that I'm going to be doing a giveaway tomorrow so that you guys can watch out for that video. And yeah, so give me one second, I'll be right back and I will show you guys the finished look. So this is the final look that I came up with for today. Sorry, my hair is crazy. I just couldn't handle it today. It was driving me nuts. Anyway, so I used a black eyeliner on my lower lash line and I used the Hikari black eyeliner. I love this one because it's so dark and it stays on really well. I used the Lancome Excessive Black Mascara on first and then I layered it with the Maybelline Great Lash in Very Black. And then I was going to use this for my lower lash line like I have been using, but I'm just sick of doing that. I'm sick of using something that I don't enjoy doing for whatever reason, you know? Like, I really like this, but I like it for my upper lashes. I don't like it for my lower lashes. So, I went in my stash, and I decided to pull out the IT Cosmetics Tight Line Mascara. I love this mascara for my lower lash line. Like, literally, have you guys tried that? It's amazing. Anyways, I had two backups of it, and I used up previously last year in my Project Pan the sample that I had, and I love it and there's no reason why I can't use it for my lower lash line. I, I love it. This is my favorite one for my lower lash line. Anyways, if you guys have any other favorites besides the A Cosmetics Tight Line Mascara, please let me know in the comments below because this one's really expensive. It lasted me a long time because I only use it for my lower lashes, but it's really expensive. So let me know if you guys have any recommendations down below in the comments. And then... Besides those few things that I used, I also used the Cover FX Illuminating Setting Spray. We got this in a boxy charm, a full size, but I already had the little sample size and I've been loving it. It gives me like this dewy, glowy look. Love it. So good. And then I layer it with the Urban Decay All Nighter because this one doesn't actually set my makeup down. It doesn't actually make it stay like this one does. So I use this one for the glowy effect and then I use this one to actually set my makeup down. Um, but yeah, I really like layering those together. They feel really nice on the skin and I still feel like I don't, my skin can breathe. You know, even with the makeup on and the setting spray and everything, my skin can really breathe still, which I appreciate. And then, what else did I use? Oh, I used the Essence Make Me Brow in the shade 02 Brownie Brows. And I just used that in my brows today. I didn't use any powder or anything like that. I just wasn't in the mood. And then for my lips, I used the ColourPop Lippy Stick in the shade Cami, And it is a matte X shade. And this is also in one of my project pans. So I really love this shade. I think it looks perfect on me. And it goes with tons of different eye looks. So yeah, that's what I used today. I hope you guys enjoyed this chatty get ready with me. Basically, like I was saying, this is really just to kind of give you guys a little insight that I was going to have a giveaway starting tomorrow because I have 500 subscribers and I just really want to give back and say thank you. So look for that tomorrow morning. And yeah, I hope you guys all have a wonderful day or night wherever you are. And I will see you tomorrow in my next one. Bye.